Last month, I showed you 50 free games for the HTC Vive. Well, here's 50 more free games, in no particular order. The Ranger Lost Tribe is an action RPG with exploration elements and stealth elements. It's really large and really, really polished. One of the most polished free games I've ever played. You really need to check it out. Ripple Effect is a collection of all kinds of VR minigames. There's quite a bit of variety in here, lots of different experiences. Definitely check it out. Wake Up is a dream adventure, and it's really beautiful, really nice music. It's a gorgeous experience. You have to try this game. The game Nick is if you cross Santa Claus with Call of Duty Zombies. It's very similar to classic Call of Duty Zombies where you have to board up a window to keep the oncoming horde of bad guys at bay. Instead of zombies, it's these uh, toy gnome type things coming at you. These little guys are actually pretty creepy, I think, and they startled me a few times. But it's a really well-made presentation. Definitely check it out. Warhammer Vermintide VR Hero Trials is a really stupid name of a game, but the game itself isn't half bad. It's a miniature wave shooter where you're trying to stop bad guys from breaching the gate. Pretty well made. Uh, there is a multiplayer mode, but I couldn't find anyone to play with, but I imagine this in multiplayer could be pretty fun. Portal Stories VR is a free mod if you already own Portal 2. For a community-made mod, this is exceptional. It is really polished, it feels legit, and if you already own Portal 2, you simply have to try this. Good. You solved 3.52 megabytes of science. Accounting is one of the funniest VR experiences I've ever had. I don't know a good way to describe this, but I think you just need to dive in and check it out yourself. Uh, you should know, though, uh, it is not for children. There's a lot of mature content in there. Gary the Goal is a VR interactive animated short film and it supposedly changes the story depending on how you interact with Gary, whether you speak using the microphone or shake your head yes or no. I wasn't totally convinced that I was actually changing the story in any way. It's a really nice presentation though. Visually, it feels like a Pixar movie. Unfortunately, it is really short. Aiken's Call or Aiken's Call Act 1 is a role-playing game with some exploration and a fair amount of sword combat. It's a really solid experience and unfortunately it's way too short. It'll leave you wanting more. The Red Stair is one of those games that I cannot believe is free. It's so polished and it's such a fresh experience. You're a special agent in the 1950s, trying to decipher who spies are across the street from you. It's a fresh and ingenious take on VR room scale and motion controllers. It just feels right. You have to try this yourself. I cannot recommend it enough. Raygun Commando VR is an arcade-style on-rail shooter. That's pretty much all there is to it, but it's pretty fun. Dimensional Rift is if you melded a soccer goalie game with some kind of a sci-fi game. You have a sword and a shield, and you're supposed to stop these objects flying by you from getting past you. It's a very simple game, but quite addicting too. In Disco Destruction, you're a disc jockey charged with keeping customers happy and dancing, and that way they keep spending money at the bar. And the more money they spend at the bar, the higher score you get. Did you know that the Admersive is a really interesting educational experience. What it lacks in graphics quality, it makes up for in content. There is a ton of stuff to go through and learn. It's really fascinating to think this could be what school is in the future. A ratnophobia warning though, there's a couple of big spiders in there. you project on them, millions of years from now, they can have a very different setup. 
Freedom Locomotion VR is a really fascinating experiment that showcases every possible way you can move in virtual reality spaces. From walking in place and jogging in place, to sliding, to teleporting, to walkabout locomotion. There's a lot of customization, a lot of options, and uh, really, really interesting to see all the different ways that you can move in big spaces in VR. This one takes a while to get into because there's a lot of configuration and options to get through, but once you do that, it's pretty fun to explore all the environments and to find out all the different ways you can move. HALP is a very short game, but it makes up for that in charm. You're trying to help these little robot dudes repair their ship, and the game isn't very long at all, but the presentation and the polish and the charm really makes up for it. I recommend it. It's a good thing you came along. It'd have taken us months to fix all this. In Hot Squat, you play sort of an obstacle course that has you do lots and lots of squats. Uh, that's about all there is to it. If you're looking for free exercises in VR, you found it. AVEM 33 is a flying obstacle course game where you steer the ship by tilting your head left or right, not moving your head. I found the controls really awkward and hard, but it's possible that you'll like it. And in my opinion, Poly Runner VR is a much superior version of a flying obstacle course game. I found the controls much more intuitive, and I had a lot more fun playing this one. Pumpkin Sculptor VR is a Minecraft-esque pumpkin carver, so you can make some jack-o'-lanterns. But what's really interesting is that the entire environment is sculptable. It feels like there's a lot more to do here, like maybe some things to discover. I could be overthinking it, but I enjoyed this. Polydome is an abstract musical sequencer where you're creating these nodes and creating this music to play all around you. Pretty simple, but pretty interesting too. And Sound Lights is a really similar experience where you're creating these bubble nodes that pulse and create music around you. Uh, a little more open atmosphere, a little more abstract of an environment. Pretty cool. Soundscape VR attempts to give you a VIP private concert all to yourself. The music is all professional copyrighted songs and the visuals are really pretty. Pretty cool experience. If you think this will appeal to you, you should check it out. The Professor Presents Hashtag Got Handles is a basketball dribble. dribbling challenge where this guy who's got a lot of attitude, I don't know who he is, challenges you to some dribbling matches. Pretty cool little execution, and uh, if you enjoy basketball, you'll probably like this. VRIQ is a really unique puzzler where there's a bunch of light bulbs in front of you and various random actions will light up one light bulb. And you're not told what to do really, you just kind of have to guess and experiment how to light up all the light bulbs. Even some things such as stating a very specific word in the microphone will light up one of the bulbs. Check it out. Bebron Future Operating Room is a sort of science fiction future of what medicine could be. You get to shrink down and uh, pick away at little things inside a cell. It's a pretty brief beat the clock puzzle challenge, but it's pretty well made. Delilah's Gift is a VR picture book created using Tilt Brush. You get to travel back and forth through this very abstract story told all around you, and there's some interactivity in here too. It's simple, but it's pretty. Realities has a handful of virtual tourism experiences. You get to travel to Death Valley, you get to travel to a castle and a cathedral. There isn't a ton here to check out, but it is a pretty solid experience. We used over 350 photos in total for the reconstruction. In Retni, or Retna, you're traveling through these various fairy tale storybook VR experiences with a quirky little guide who accompanies you and describes and helps you out on your journey. Yeah. It's not a long experience, but it's really solid and fun for all ages. <gasps> hey, would you look at that? I bet you didn't know butterflies can taste food with their feet. 
Shot Forge is a sandbox to build custom guns in. There's all kinds of barrels and chambers and triggers and all kinds of stuff to build your custom guns with. It takes a while to figure this game out. The controls aren't very intuitive, but for the gun lover, you're gonna have a blast. The Body VR Journey Inside a Cell is an educational experience that takes you through the human body. At first, I thought this might be boring, but it's really, really well put together. I recommend you give it a spin. Next up are white blood cells or leukocytes. The Stanford Ocean Acidification Experience is a really well put together presentation showing how climate change is affecting our oceans. If you enjoy science, I think you'll like this. Observe the chemical reaction that occurs when CO2 combines with H2O to create carbonic acid. VR multi-games is three miniature VR games in one. You've got a drone fight, which has a gun and lightsaber against drones. Last Stand, which has a survival crossbow against bots coming at you. And some goofy goalkeeper game. Of those three, you might like one of them. Big Screen Beta is a really fascinating desktop application in VR that lets people get together in the same virtual room and share their desktops together. This enables you to have virtual LAN parties in VR, watch movies together. The possibilities for interacting with others in this is really fascinating. I haven't gotten really deep into this yet, but this is really, really interesting. I think you should check it out. Chop and Drop VR. Take on the job of a line worker removing troublesome trees. Get out the chainsaw, move the bucket, and get some manly work done. Found is an interactive short film experience. This one is really, really special. I don't want to ruin it for you. Just try it out for yourself. You'll thank me later. Endless Night Alpha is a wave shooter with kind of a horror spooky theme. You got some ghouls and some flying things and some reapers coming at you. Be warned though, Wave 2 does have spiders. That's when I had to quit. <laughs> In Goalie Challenge VR, you get to play the role of Hockey Goalie. I was pleasantly surprised because this game features multiplayer if another person is on a controller. So you could have another person on the controller trying to shoot pucks past you. So this could be a really fun party game. Kitten Cannon. Not much of a point in me describing this. Just watch a little bit of gameplay, you get the idea. I recommend it, it's pretty funny. Launch Squad Demo is a multiplayer combat game with every player armed with a goo slingshot. Unfortunately, I couldn't find any players to play with when I was playing this, but I imagine if you got some friends together, either online or in a LAN party, you could probably have a great time. Lucky Knight Texas Hold'em VR. Well, this is the card game Texas Hold'em, and uh, if you would enjoy this, you should check it out. Panoptic Demo. If you're familiar with the game Mass Exodus, this is very similar to that, where you have one person on the PC wandering as a tiny person, and the person in VR is a giant trying to spot the real human in the crowd. In Mass Exodus, you can have up to four people playing on one screen with the fifth person in VR. I think in Panoptic Demo, you can only have two people total. But hey, the demo is free. Scanner Sombre Demo is a cave exploration experience where you are using sort of a LiDAR scanner to scan the environment around you and that's how you see. This exploration mechanic is really unique and I haven't seen it anywhere else. I should let you know this game has a horror theme behind it because I don't think it's obvious when you're watching the gameplay, but just so you know. Somad or Somad, I don't know how to pronounce this one, but this was a real surprise to me. It's a party game where you have friends watching the computer monitor and one person in VR. The person in VR is exploring a self-overlapping VR maze to try and find the diamond. Everyone watching the monitor can give the person in VR clues as to where they should be turning in the maze. 
I was really impressed with how the maze was generated. It's utilizing your room scale in such a way that there's no teleportation or anything. It's just you walking, but it feels like you're going through this really large maze, but it just cleverly has you turning in the room scale that you have. I think this would be an amazing party game. I'm looking forward to playing this with others soon. Surgeon Simulator VR Meet the Medic is a wacky and gross beat-the-clock surgeon game where you're trying to give this guy a heart transplant using very strange tools and methods. I haven't been able to beat this one yet, but I think this would be a really fun party game too. The Wave VR Beta this experience is really fascinating and it taps into something more that VR could be. It's basically a virtual rave experience. They often host live rave shows, which unfortunately I haven't been able to join yet. But even outside of those scheduled events, there's all these different musical experiences to have. You can have your own DJ booth where you mix music with effects and use custom visualizations. You can explore this abstract dream place that gets you a currency that you can use to buy these sort of music rave toys you can play with. You can meet others in this space. I'm really looking forward to seeing one of the live shows soon. This is something you really have to try. I really recommend it. VR chat is very similar to Rec Room. It's this social world where you meet other people and play all kinds of different mini games and explore all kinds of different places. There's a lot to do here. I've barely scratched the surface of this so far, and I really hope to dive more into this soon. Anyland is a very powerful world builder. There's a lot to this and it feels pretty deep. But fortunately, there's all kinds of pre-built areas for you to explore and enjoy. A nice one is the underground. The underground features a labyrinth, a puzzle room, and all kinds of things to explore. And the underground is just one area provided inside this game. There are many areas to check out and more being built all the time. Really fascinating. Meshmaker VR is a really detailed 3D modeler in VR. It's very powerful, has lots of options, and unfortunately that comes with a lot of complexity. But if you're patient and interested in 3D modeling in VR, this could be really interesting for you. VRCAT is kind of a blend between tilt brush and a 3D modeler. There's all kinds of things to do in here, all kinds of settings of things you can create and paint. If you're into 3D creation, check it out. Well, that's it for now. Thanks so much for watching. If you like what you see, please subscribe. See ya.